Hi there, Sagittarius, Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your October 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com, or as some of you may know, as Heart Divine. Now, before anything else, if you're new to my channel, please do know that I do monthly intuitive forecast love readings and astrology videos. And if this is something that you're interested in, then please do consider subscribing. Now, before we begin the reading, let's first talk about, you know, the general atmosphere and the energy of the month of October 2020 astrology-wise. Now, I feel that, you know, the month of October is quite active, you know, despite the fact that, you know, that we are still in a Mars retrograde energy, which can say that, you know, there could be action, lack of action, or, you know, uh, there could be an impulsive energy as a whole. And for this month in particular, we are also going to experience a Mercury retrograde in the sign of Scorpio. So there's going to be, you know, a lot of inward energy, a lot of things happening inside of us. But um, contrary to what retrograde usually um, manifests, this can actually occur in a way wherein we might come to have some form of realizations um, that comes with our past or you know certain circumstances in our life that you know it is highly possible that these realizations might trigger us to take action and you know to move things forward in our life depending on what we are focusing at this time you know um it could be a situation that we did not really think about too much and it could be also a situation that has been stagnating in our life for quite a long time so there is really something coming in our life and this is going to, you know, shift the gears and, you know, set things. It's like setting up a story, you know, and finally you will see a highlight or an ending of some kind. You know, something is finally moving and we are now over with a filler arc. Let's let's um talk about it that way you know this is not about dreams and fantasies of what we want to occur this is about you know some form of connection to reality on what might transpire and happen you know this is uh, for some people might think of a make or break um issue but this is actually a situation where in it's not just about you feeling good. It's not about having fun anymore. You need to do something concrete so that you will see some form of progress in the air, you know. So um, issues that we have been ignoring will be in focus this month, definitely. And that's that's that can really happen an experience by everyone both in a positive and negative way but it will regardless it helps us you know push things forward on what's really meant for us and what's really meant in our life as a whole so um yeah first of all let's just you know talk about the cars and see what are the major highlights that can occur and manifest for a lot of Sagittarius people out there in terms of their personal life love life um, in general so um, again this is a general reading so it it may or may not really resonate and occur for each and every Sagittarius out there so just keep that in mind if this reading does not resonate with you you can you know check in with your Sun sign moon sign or ascendant side either of those three um, and see what resonates with you Anyway, let's get into the reading. The first card of the reading is the Six of Pentacles, which is all about, you know, balance and imbalances in life. When we talk about love and relationship, this is a situation maybe that, you know, we are thinking of, of our emotions, our feelings, and in the relationship, or, you know, we are trying to... Um, it's like trying to balance or... Is trying to weigh things out, you know, trying to weigh up the pros and cons of the relationship, uh, what's 
actually happening and not happening in a in a relationship situation. It may have a lot to do with the give and take of a relationship. Who is giving a lot and who is just taking and not you know um, not contributing anything in, into the relationship. You know, so usually whenever this card comes up, you know there could be an issue for justice and injustice in a relationship you know what is fair and not fair and because we do have the five of pentacles over here this makes me feel that you know there could be a difficulty happening in a in a certain relationship of course this can also manifest when it comes to focus on finances as a possibility um let's get real here uh you know just because it's it's a love reading it doesn't mean that everything is all about love and uh, in most cases some people still think about money and you know security and stability in life so will this person be able to um, support me in the long run you know money wise um financial wise those things are also in place it, it is a very very much of a possibility that a sense of our security um, is in focus right now or you might be uh, having problems with financial things as a possibility as well it could also be that you're having a difficult time with a certain person in your life it could be this king of pentacles which is you know a person of wealth or a person of authority it could be someone who is very stubborn maybe everything that has been going on into your relationship is on a very practical approach and you might be questioning yourself if it is really worth it or should i follow my heart or should i follow my mind should i follow what is you know the um what i need or should i follow what i want so all of these things could be in place right now and it could be in focus in your life with the four of wands over here, which talks about alliances and harmony, it tells us that, you know, there is really, you know, it could be a situation wherein things are okay uh, in the relationship. Things are balanced and harmonious. But when, you know, basically what this is telling us that there is going to be some form of, you know, feeling settled and feeling happy in a relationship. The other things that I am in concern with with this reading is that, you know, beside this four of wands is this seven of pentacles and the king of pentacles, which makes me feel that, yes, you do have a relationship and it could be, it is a happy relationship, but for some reason, maybe you are not satisfied with that relationship or someone is going solo in that relationship, you know, you might feel that everything is becoming more practical, all about money and not much about love, you know, not much about our own feelings, you know. Not everything can be solved by financial stuff or money. Maybe that is what you believe or, you know, it could also be that, you know, you are, you, this is something that you desire as well. You might be missing, um, those times in your life and in your relationship when when you never thought about money concerns you never thought about security and you were just enjoying life as a whole with the seven of pentacles over here we are being shown that there is clearly some form of patience or frustration that you know that might be being experienced by you maybe you have been trying to be patient and waiting trying to give in and give all out with your partner but you're not really exactly receiving something it could be that you have been being patient and waiting for things to to happen waiting for the other person to take action towards you but you know this is like a situation wherein you're not exactly getting what you want or maybe your patience is running out you have been waiting for something and you know you're not receiving it exactly as it is so this can you know trigger some of the the power balance in the relationship and situation with the strength card over here um 
down by the six of pentacles it gives me a feeling we're in this is a time we're in if there is something injustice happening in a situation relationship you will have that power to overcome it you know you will have the strength to voice out what you really think about the situation what is lacking in the situation and what should occur in a relationship situation now if you see here with we do have Mercury, Leo, and the 10th house um, with my astro dice over here, which can talk about, you know, um, Mercury is all about our communication, things that we think about and say. And this, and with the strength card over here, it gives me that energy we're in. There is a possibility that we may say things overboard. Maybe because we have been trying to control ourselves. We are trying to not say anything. We're trying to be patient. And, you know, this is the time we're in, you know, you might tell yourself that enough is enough. I need to say something. I need to do something about it. So you might just, you know, become a, <laughs> some form of explosive person that, you know, cannot handle their their emotions anymore. So... Um, sometimes that is actually necessary. Sometimes it is necessary for us to to suddenly just voice out our own concerns. I just want to remind you guys to you know to control yourself one way or another because sometimes when we express ourselves, um, it may happen in a way we're in. We might say things we don't really mean, or we might say things in a very excessive way, and you know that can create a lot of friction in terms of relationships, especially when we cannot turn, when we cannot you know um, take back what we already have said. So just keep that in mind. With the Eight of Pentacles over here, it's being clearly shown that, you know, if you have been very passive in the relationship, this is a situation where and you are really going to push forward with what you want. This is going to be a situation where and you are going to make the effort. You are going to work on something in the relationship situation. This is also a possibility where in... Um, wherein you know you might be waiting on something or someone and there there is also a possibility that that person um takes action and takes initiative into making effort to you know um make some changes in the relationship so again this is going to happen in a vice versa kind of way so i'm just telling you guys the possibilities on how this might manifest as a whole as this is a general reading with the world card here in the magician, this brings in a lot of manifesting energy and an energy for change. And so um, what you think right now, the, the things that, you know, gets influence in your own energy, these are the things that you can actually manifest. And communication can be vital, maybe communication from overseas or from across land. Or this can be a situation wherein it's, you know, communication is going to be a very important factor. The things that we think about, the things that we we try to to initiate, can be an important um, issue at hand all at the same time. So, with the last card here, we do have the Queen of Cups, which is a, a very a very harmonious card, a very emo emotional card all at the same time. It is very intuitive as well. So this might be telling you that, you know, if you have been lacking with when it comes to your emotions, you know, for the past few months maybe, this can be a time wherein you are going to give in with your emotions. This can also be a situation wherein maybe a helping hand from a woman um, that has a an energy of a Queen of Cups, like someone who is psychic or um, has some form of s a strong spiritual connection. It could also be you, or your own intuition might tell you um, what is the needed action to take. You know, so maybe you are going to handle things in a very intuitive approach, and that can lead to some form of answers and strategic developments in your life and in your relationships. So um, 
overall it is a positive energy it's just that you might deal with a lot of stressful situation maybe in the first half of the month and at the second half some form of action and development might actually um, occur that balance things out or correct situations you know things that are not working in uh, certain relationships i do know that a new beginning can actually pan out and some form of um, victorious development might um, transpire as well but communication is going to be very much vital in in manifesting that and in making things um possible for a lot of Sagittarius people out there. Now let's go ahead and see our Lenormand card on additional message and confirmation of what might untranspire for a lot of Sagittarius people out there. Interestingly enough, um, the man card and the, f the woman card actually shows up into this reading. So that is going to be very much significant, specifically for you guys, Sagittarius. We do have here the whip card in the middle. So this could be a situation maybe of um, irritation or uh, I would say aggressive nature. It could be a very sexual nature between a man and a woman all at the same time so it's going to be i would say this is like a wild card you know something is repeating in the situation between a man and a woman and that might be a deal breaker that they need to um, overcome or they need to figure things out you know because the whip card is you know something that repeats again and again or um it could be a conflict or a problem that might uh, come up. So this is still uh, a bit of, of a wild card, I would say, you know, where things can go in different direction. However, we do have here the dog card and the star card, which can tell us that, you know, it could be a friend from afar or someone that inspires you. It could be this man or it could be a situation wherein you hear from someone from overseas or, you know, someone talks to you online, you know, that kind of energy. And that can create a lot of happiness to you and with the star card and the, the whip this gives me a feeling that you know this could be you know something can repeat again in a positive way i would say so you might hear from someone that you used to know from the past i don't know that kind of energy and uh, because of the dog card and the lady card over here, it gives me a feeling that you are going to um, either you see this person in a very positive way, you are very much welcoming with that person, there is a form of companionship or loyalty that you have with this person. So I would say that what this card is telling us is either that, you know, maybe if there are, you know, certain patterns in the relationship that needs to get sorted out, um, these are things that you might need to confront and not run away with, you know. It could be some form of stubborn issue, but at the same time, and on a good scale, this can be a form of attraction as well. You know, some form of sexual tendencies between a man and a woman is also possible. So, um, yeah, this is about you overcoming some form of issues as well. It could be, you know, you might, you know, there could be a sudden surprise. You hear from someone from afar, you know, and... It triggers a lot of curiosity in you as a possibility as well I would say that you need to deal with this in a very intuitive level you know let your feelings guide you and not too much of your practical mind you know it's okay to be practical I mean I'm not against that uh, we all need uh, some form of practicality mindset when it comes to love and relationships in general. It's just that you need to balance things out and you need to make sure that, you know, whatever decisions and encounters that you do, that you are happy as well with your own decision makings. So, um, yeah.
thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me this is your reading sagittarius sun moon and rising sign if you do want a personal reading in depth and detailed specifically done for you you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by chrissy.com and with this i shall see you guys again next month goodbye